A Louisiana newspaper is begging Senator John Kennedy to stop embarrassing their state. Columnist Stephanie Grace, in an op-ed in the Louisiana newspaper, The Advocate, went after Kennedy, calling him a quote-unquote smart man who likes to say stupid things. Stupid. All right, are you sure about that first part? <laughs> okay. Uh, citing some examples of Kennedy's outrageous behavior, she wrote that clearly Kennedy is just fine with sacrificing his senatorial dignity at the altar of owning the libs. Well, I would argue that, of course, he never had any dignity, uh, but I digress. Okay, it's a fair criticism. Uh, now, she pointed specifically at a recent hearing where Kennedy had argued with, unsuccessfully, I, 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 I will remind you, a public health researcher over the issue of guns. Here's that exchange. Why do you think that Chicago has become America's largest outdoor shooting range? Do you think it's because of Chicago citizens uh, who have no criminal record, but, but who have a uh, awfully a gun in their home for protection or perhaps for hunting? Or do you think it's because of a finite group of criminals who have rap sheets as long as King Kong's arm? So Mississippi, Louisiana, and Missouri actually have higher firearm death rates. Um, obviously, there's certain... What about Chicago. So I don't live in Chicago. It's not my primary area of research. You don't have an opinion on that? I think there's easy access to firearms compared with, combined with environmental conditions, uh, lack of great education. There have actually been studies showing that when you green vacant lots and repair abandoned buildings in urban neighborhoods, you see decreases in gunshots, in violence, as well as in stress and depression in the neighborhoods around them. Uh, no disrespect, Doc, but that... Sounds a lot like word salad to me. Oh, it sounds like a word salad, you know. Oh, are you telling me uh, that if you actually invest in these areas and bring jobs and out of this and take care of the communities that there's going to be less crime and violence? Word salad uh, to me. No, it actually makes a lot of sense that if you invest in communities and bring in employers and jobs and make everybody's lives better, that there's less crime and therefore less violent crime, less gun crime, less death. I know. Crazy, right? Word salad. Look, uh, John Kennedy wouldn't know a fact if it slapped him in the face. So he here's the thing, though. Okay. We live in a notion of guns. We have more guns than people, than citizens. It's concentrated among a small group of people. Only about a third of U.S. adults actually own a firearm. Uh, and they don't own just one. They happen to own a lot. In fact, there's roughly 120 firearms in the civilian possession for every 100 residents. So as far as gun violence goes, a study in the Journal of American Medical Association found that firearm deaths are actually more likely in small rural towns than major urban cities. In fact, data shows that in 2020, eight of the 10 states with the highest murder rates voted for Republican presidential nominees in every election in this century. Oops. Wow. Uh, in fact, uh, the Journal of American Medicine uh, Medical Association Surgery Study also found that gun suicides are more common than gun homicides. Not surprising. With gun suicides accounting for a large increase in gun deaths in recent years. So, that said, the question is, well, what about Chicago? Well, let's look at the state as a whole, right? So let, let's look at Louisiana versus Illinois when it comes to firearm deaths in 2021 per capita. Louisiana actually had a firearm mortality rate of 29.1 per 100,000 residents. Well, certainly Illinois, which Chicago was located, must have more than that, right? No, it turns out Illinois had a firearm mortality rate of just 16.1 per 100,000 residents. Now, that's still a lot, uh, but again, when you're looking at America numbers, eh, not as much, right? 16.1 versus 29.1. Uh, now, do you know what the states uh, with the highest firearm mortality rates were? I have a nice little handy graph, thanks to the CDC, to show you. Looks like you have 
Mississippi, number one, is over 33. Louisiana, number two. New Mexico, Alabama, Wyoming, Alaska. Illinois is actually down at 26. So now some of the states that have the lowest rates of firearm deaths include New York, which has New York City. Huh, weird. Uh, but anyway, I, I know, factual information. <laughs> it's anathema. It's anathema to these people, okay? <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Uh, either that or it, it's because uh, facts are too woke. The wokers. Okay. Anyway, back to Kennedy. Now, Grace explained that every time Kennedy begins a sentence with no disrespect, it's about to be followed with disrespect. <laughs> well, yes, it's true. She's afraid that Kennedy, who's already an embarrassment to her state, is actually getting worse and has undermined the administration's foreign policy goals. Quote, makes you wonder what ever happened to the historical principle that routine political attacks stop at the border. Something Kennedy has surely learned about at Vanderbilt while studying political science. Or whether the subject of America's role in the world ever came up in conversation while he was earning a degree at Oxford, the one in England, not in Mississippi. Grayson compared Kennedy to new, to new House Speaker Mike Johnson, saying that he is far from liberal, but promotes civility in politics. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be too much to ask that he at least try not to cause an international incident? Yes, it, it actually would be. Because, <laughs> look, the right's not about policy. Okay, it's it's not about policy. And by the way, her, her focus being foreign policy and not causing causing an international incident. Again, that's that's one thing, right? Um, praising Mike Johnson for being civil while you know supporting horrible things, notwithstanding, uh, she's generally right about this guy being an embarrassment because he is. And again, the whole point of the Republican Party, the modern Republican Party is not to govern, but to prevent governing, to prevent governance. Look, we know that they wanted to dismantle government as much as they can, except for, of course, the military and some certain people have their way. Morality police, right? Be the only ones that are befunded. Everything else would be broken apart and sold off to the donors. That's what they as a party currently stand for. John Kennedy, all he's doing is what he thinks is going to keep getting him elected. And that is to, quote unquote, own the libs while making sure that nothing substantial that actually, you know, improves the lives of the American people at the expense of the large donors ever gets done. And uh, as far as that's concerned, doing a bang up job. <laughs>